Hey guys, welcome to PatternLab.London. Okay, so we have um, a customer question time today from Abby. So she says, hi, I purchased a few e-patterns e last June. Is there a way to edit them with new measurements? I did not see a way to do this on the website. Thank you very much. Um, Abby, yeah, absolutely. It's no problem at all. Um, so basically what you do is if you go, if you log in to the, your Pattern Lab account, you must have a Pattern Lab account for this. Uh, you can't do it as a guest user. And if you simply navigate to my account and you go my library, and depending on how many orders you have, this might take a little bit of time to load. So I'm just going to simply jump to that tab that I've already opened up. And as you can see here, we have a whole list of all the different orders that I've created um, and obviously the dates and the price, etc. So let's just go into Profile Henrietta Standard, which is this one here. This is for a torso block and a basic set and sleeve. I'm just going to simply go Edit, Preview and Download. So basically this Edit, Preview and Download button allows you to view the pattern um, on your screen, but also it allows you to edit your measurements. You can also add notes, you can add imagery and text, um, which basically go with that pattern, which is really handy. And you can also re-download it again. If, for example, this is a PDF, then you'll have options for A4, A3, A2, etc. But this is an e-pattern, so this is simply a download button. So I can obviously download any existing patterns I've created, and I can also edit the measurements, and this is what Abby wants to do. So if we go to click on the Edit Measurement button, you'll see a pop-up appear which is very similar to the profile page. So let's just go for only four bodice and torsos. There we go. So these are all the measurements that I added to create this block. And as you can see for the bust, the waist here, and also the hips just here, you'll see you only have three edits. So basically this just prevents you from drafting thousands of different blocks for different profiles. So you're allowed to change um, the measurements up to three times in case you've got those slightly wrong or you want to tweak them ever so slightly. But here you can simply just change the neck for example. So let's say we wanted to increase the size of our neck to from 37 to 41. Okay, let's say we made a mistake or uh, the restrictions were in place. I should simply enter that measurement, click done. And as you can see, your existing order, or let's say pattern, uh, will then obviously change the neckline. In fact, let's do something a little bit more extreme. So I'll just basically redraft that block for you using the new measurement. Let's make this 60 so you can really see. And it will give you obviously an error if it's wildly outside that, but it will still draft. Okay, this is the lift of restrictions we did recently. Oh, no, actually, <laughs> you can't draft it with that. Give me one second. So we have to go slightly lower. So let's go 45. There we go. That's within our recommended value. And then let's just simply done. And it should redraft with that much larger neckline, as you can see. And you can edit any of these measurements. So let's go for the shoulder, for example. Let's make this 15. There we go. Once again, we get a bit of a warning here because it's outside the let's say recommendations for this particular profile. Let's just click done. And there we have that wildly larger shoulder line. So as you can see, you can edit your measurements on existing orders. It's completely up to you. Let's put this back to what it used to be. So 37 and this was also 12.5. Let's just click done. And that's our block back to its existing self, which is great. Let's also go to Edit Measurements once more. Now, so any changes that you make on this profile page here, on this, this little pop-up, you can actually copy it back to the existing profile. You can create a new profile with these amended measurements. So you have the two, you have the existing copy and you have the new copy. You can also undo all of the edits. Now, this applies to all of them, except obviously the bust, waist and hip, because the edits remain the same. Okay, and that's about it. And if you want to go back to a different order, so let's say we've created, we've changed the measurements on one order. It's very simple. We can just, let's go back. Okay, so once you're back inside your library, you can see you have all your other orders. Once again, just simply click on whatever order you want to edit and go edit, preview and download. And then who's this for? This is for Rachel. Okay, we have a much longer block here and we can just simply go edit measurements. And once again, you can edit those measurements. Okay, so Abby, I hope that answers your question. And uh, if anyone has any comments or questions about this tutorial, then please feel free to leave them on uh, this post. Thanks a lot. Cheers.